starting with a matte color in the crease. This is just to warm everything up. Then I'm moving on to a nice dark bronzy color. This is very shimmery. And I'm just packing that onto the lid. Then I'm going back with my blending brush to blend the edges of the eyeshadow on the lid. With a dark brown color, I'm going into the outer corners just to give it some depth. Then I'm going back with that shimmery color and this time I wet my brush just so it's extra shimmery and extra shiny. Now I'm adding some black to the outer corners because I want it extra dark so it looks a bit deeper and a bit more dramatic. I used a shimmery champagne color for the inner corners. I applied it dry and then wet as well to give it a bit more impact. For the lower lash line, I went in with a matte dark brown color just to thicken it up and make it a bit more dramatic. And then I used a dark brown shimmery pencil on her waterline. Moving on to the face, I started with a light green corrector to correct the uh, red spots on her face or the red hue on her face. Then I went over that with a foundation and I used a shade that's a tad bit darker than her face because her face and the upper part of her neck is uh, really lighter than the rest of her body and I wanted to match so the foundation is a little bit darker than the actual skin tone of her face. Then I also went into the neck with the foundation, so her neck would be one color. Then I went on to highlighting her face with a concealer that's a few shades lighter than her uh, foundation. I went underneath the eyes, the nose, her forehead, and then above the upper lip and the chin. And then I worked it all into the skin as well. Then I set the concealer by baking all the parts I highlighted and I did that with a translucent powder. Then I moved on to contouring underneath her cheekbones, along her hairline and then also underneath the jawline. Next I'm applying a natural looking pair of false eyelashes and I also applied mascara to blend her natural lashes with the false lashes. Here I'm dusting away any excess powder. Then it's time for the brows here. I'm filling in her brows with a powder and then going through them with a spoolie just to soften it up a little bit. To bring back some color in her face, I'm adding some blush and this is a nice bronzy corally color. And then my favorite part, highlighting. I'm highlighting her cheekbones, down the nose, a little bit on her forehead, her cupid's bow and a little bit on the chin. Then the last part, her lips. I started with a purpley pink uh, lip liner and I lined her lips first, then completely filled them in. And then I went over that with a bright pink lipstick. 